I won't need them. Quit glitching out, controller. I won't need them. The next boss isn't too difficult. And... I'm gonna need those bottles free. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in my next side questing, but... I'm thinking... I might do it between the next, the well dungeon and the uh, shadow temple. I'm not sure yet, because there's some stuff that we can get between those two, but there's also other things that we can get afterwards that we might just have to, might decide to wait. Float up. Come on, quit targeting things. There we go. And we want to float all the way up. Right, and in order to do that, was it this room? It's the one on the right side. We have to go in here. And we need to get the golden skull tool and the elevator up. Come on. We need to get the Golden Skulltula in the elevator room as well, before we leave. Don't forget that. There it is. Goodbye. You can barely hear him. I think in the GameCube version, they've actually changed the sound effects to where it's actually got, like, 3D distance. Because I don't remember that in the Nintendo 64 version. Or maybe it's just because I'm wearing a headset this time. Who knows. Sound quality does change depending on whether or not you're wearing a headset or not. I have noticed that. Ooh. Well, did that pick up on the mic? Holy crap. It just popped my arm and... Wow. That was loud. Might have woke up my brother, I don't know. He's over there asleep. Uh, elevator room is on the other side. Where am I going? Hmm. I have no clue, guys. I'm just wandering around. Right. So, Golden Skull number five of this dungeon. <laughs> is now about to be mine. Very long long shot. Okay, slightly up. Ba boom. Right. So now all that's left is the dungeon boss. Who is at the front? Right up here. What you need to do, you come over here, and hook shot over here. That's it. Two fairies up here, if you need to stock up. And all we need to do is now walk up here. Be careful of the spikes, they hurt. There we go. That was lucky. Usually it takes me a couple tries. <laughs> Right, and what we need to do... D-Helm, look out! That isn't normal water over there. You just hop onto one of these platforms. Uh, there we go. Coca-Cola. It's cherry cola, actually. It's even off-brand. It's not even true Coca-Cola. I just got it up at uh, food fair. I'm like, okay. It's cheap. Tastes good, though. Ugh. The water is alive. Da 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 da
or dungeon to do this boss. Um, they're gonna swing its tentacle thing at me. Your goal is to get that ball. You want to slash at that lone ball right there. This is arguably one of the easiest bosses ever. So, he's gonna do that bit. That's gonna summon a giant tentacle. You just wanna make sure you're out of range of the tentacle for when it flops down. Then you long shot that. And wait for him to pop back up. Legit. You just... That's it. Just make sure you're out of range of the tentacle and you do it again. Lint, rinse, lather, repeat. And if you can, you can actually corner him to where he can't actually escape. And you can actually get him when he's doing that spinny bit. If you're lucky. I'm not. Oh, there's two tentacles this time. There he goes. Morpha defeated. And all the water is drained out, which somehow, maybe Morpha, Morphia, was actually all the water in Halea Lake. And it was just a condensed form of it. And killing Morphia released the water back into the lake. Because somehow the water fills back up. And we want to pick up the piece of heart right here. Our heart container. And can carry continue on our merry way. Can carry hmm, continue on our merry way. I can speak English sometimes, I swear. Doom, 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 doom. Chamber of the Sages. Yeah, if you haven't guessed yet, uh, Rudo is the sage. And I think Sheikah mentioned it earlier. The Sage of Water. I need the water medallion. Give it to me. Dehelm. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zoro's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. You're welcome. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the Sage of Water. And you, you're searching for the Princess Zelda. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it, so don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Okay. I shall take your medallion respectfully. Thank you. Do, 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 do. You receive the water medallion. Ruto awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Bum, 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 bum. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Sure. Which, my my, look at the time. I think we're about to run into Sheik. That's what usually happens after a dungeon, isn't it? As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Dehelm, you did it. Hey, Rudo says thanks. Huh? Hello, Rudo says thanks. Did Rudo want to thank me? Yeah. I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Dion. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I did a great job.
Dun 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 dun. And of course, Sheik is just gonna walk off. Peace out. He disappeared. He's up there, on top of the tree. And he's vanished. Oh well. So. The next thing we could do. Will I be quick enough? It's just morning now. Ha! I was quick enough. You can get the fire arrows as the sun is rising for the sunrise. Now you can actually do this... Uh, before finishing the water temple, you can do it with the hook shot, but it's easier with the long shot. But the easiest way to get it in general, when water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. The easiest way to do it in general is just to wait. And when morning comes and the lake is filled, you can get the fire arrows. You got the fire arrow. And now that actually uses magic power, though, so... Um, you want to be careful. If you're in a place where you're going to be needing a whole bunch of fire... Or magic... Uh, magic meter, like, say, the Shadow Temple, then you might want to hold off on doing that. Or hold off on using your arrow. Your magic arrows. Now, we want to hop up to the top of this tree. Not exactly sure how to do so, though. Come on, I know I need to go up here. There's a golden Skulltula there that pops up during the night. Oh, come on. How do I do this? Do I need to do it on the branch, maybe? No, surely not. How do I do this? There we go, I think. No? Crap! There we go. Ha ha! Uh, wow, that was dumb. I jumped down. Come on, land back on that branch. There we go. Now, where does it appear? I know it appears at night. I'll be standing on it, watch. Right. Boom. Boom. I think that's the last one in Lake Halea. I think. So that covers this area. Do do do. Let's okay. That's the last of Lake Kalia. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so... I think the next place we want to go... I'm going to start some side questing again, I think. Because there's a few things that we can get. So that's the last one for here. I think the next place we want to go... Is... Zora's River. There's a little bit of side questing we can do, so let's do that. I think the easiest way would be to teleport to the Temple of Time and walk out from there. Doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Now there's two more that we can pick up at Zora's River during the night, now that we have the long shot. We can pick up the one in Zora's Domain on the waterfall. I still don't think we can do the one in Zora's Fountain. Because you have to have the gauntlets. Actually, there is one we can do here. Let's grab that one real quick. But, nah, actually, we'll wait. I'll wait until we're fine and ready. Hm. Yes. I'm not gonna go to 
the new Hyrule Castle until the end. So, from here, we're going to want to go this way. Right? Yes. Now, I could have called it Pona, but what would be the fun of that? We like seeing Link roll around in the dirt. With his nicely kept hair that somehow stays nice kept, nicely kept, even though he's rolling around in the dirt. He is a dirty, dirty child. That much is for sure. Do 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 do. Now I know these few only pop out during the night, so we're gonna only make it night. But I think they only appear on the second half of this area as well. So, I'm not going to worry about them being on this side. I think. Because if I remember right, they appear on the top of that section up there. I'm wanting to say. I'm keeping an ear open for them, though. Don't hear anything. Oh. Nope, don't hear it. Well, I know one of them can be accessed by going over here. There should be like a ladder. Right, it's on this section over here. There it is. Now... I know one of them. Oh. I hear it. Oh, there it is. Can I get it before it disappears? No! Lame. That was lame. It disappeared right as I was aiming for it. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, you destroyed a golden Skulltula. You got a token, proving you did it. Now, where's the last one? Because... That's the one that matters. And I can't seem to think of where it is. Hmm. Is it in here? Actually. Because I remember him being in a similar place. Hello? No, that's just okay. And those are bugs. I'm gonna go ahead and pick... Yeah, I'll get rid of my fairy. And I'll pick more bugs up. Because I don't know, actually, how many more I'll need. That one heart, though, it needed filled. Boing, boing. Oh, is it not gonna... Come on, I hit you. Boing, boing, the current time is 22.39. They actually tell you the time in world. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's almost midnight. Where is it? Is it under you? No, I think this is a fairy fountain, isn't it? Yeah. No, not here. Where are you? Ow. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, I hear it. Am I too late? There it is. Oh, come on, twice? Wow. That's the second time I snacked right next to it and then day came. Oh, come on. There we go. And I think I still want to go in here, so... Let's, uh, go... Yeah, because we need a... Right. <clears throat> yeah. My singing sucks. Right, and the last one in this area is right up there. I thought it was on the waterfall. Where can I... How do I pick you up? Hmm. Do I need to go up there then? Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Yeah, I think we actually need to go up there then. So maybe we could have done this with the regular hook shot. My bad. Careful not to slip off the waterfall, mind you. Yeah, you need to come up here. My bad. There we go. Now, I think we'll return to the temple time. I think that's all we can do here. Okay. Let's see, so that ends this area, that area. Let's see, next place we're going to go is Gerudo Valley. Or should I really wait to do that? Should I? Nah, I'll do it now. Why not? Hello, I don't wish to be raped. Goodbye. Now, Redeads, eh, as a kid, they used to scare me, but what really scared me was the dead hands. Ah, uh, no. The dead hands, and we'll see him pretty soon. They are creepy. Now, you'll notice a lot of what makes a knee freak out from enemies is weird bodily movements. Because... It's not the fact that it looks strange, but it moves very oddly. And that's what creeps me out about monsters. Like, you'll notice, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, you have the nobodies. Nobodies move in a very odd, weird, ripply body pattern. And that creeps me out. Right, we're going to Gerudo Valley. What am I doing? <laughs> and I don't know, it's there's just something I don't like is the weird like inhuman bodily bodily movements. It's just eh, it makes my back cringe. It makes me cringe. 
So, we want to come over here and actually, I think all the ones in Grudo Valley you can only get at night. Now, I also need to think, can we get rid of this rock now? Yes, we can. That means we can bomb this spot and get the one from here as well. Down we go. Okay. We have fire arrows. Where are you at? There it is. Hey, more bugs. There he is, he's hiding. Now, if I remember correctly, actually, if you have uh, an empty container and you go up to a cow and you use the milk or the container, you get milk. It fills your uh, your bottle with milk. Like the Lawn Lawn Ranch milk. I could be wrong on that, but... I mean, you can't do anything else to these cows. Okay, so that's the last one in Hyrule Field. Now then, we want to go over to the actual Gerudo Valley. do 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 and we're gonna come over here. Now we can only do this part at night. And we can also pick up a couple pieces of heart while we're here. Should I actually do this section of the game? Can I do this? I think you can at this point actually, is unlock this area. Should I go ahead and do that? I think I might. Now, I gotta think here. Where do those... I know it has to be nighttime. But where do they actually pop up? That is the question. I think one pops up over here, but I think that's as a kid. Right. Well, I know one of them's behind the tent. And that... Across we go. There should be one behind the tent over here. Yep, there he is. Okay. Now where's the other one? Is he over here? Yeah, I hear him. Is he behind you? No, but there's a chest. What's in you? What's in your wallet? Apparently 50 rupees. Oh, there he is. That's those two out of the way. It almost became morning, so I almost didn't get that. Right. And then there's also a couple pieces of heart I'm pretty sure we can get at this point now. What we need to do... It's that platform down there. It's that box. It's inside that crate. Can I not get it? Interesting. Okay. How do I get over there then? I'm pretty sure we can get this one. Bow, 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 bow. 